Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're at the American Polish Festival in Sterling Heights, Michigan. So it's a beautiful day, it's very sunny out, it's uh, about 31 degrees Celsius. I don't even know what that would be in Fahrenheit, probably like high 80s, maybe like 90. Uh, beautiful day. Anyhow, so here to check it out, we're here for their pierogi eating contest. Um, so there's a total of $1,000 in cash prizes. First, 500 bucks. Second, 300 bucks. Third, 200 bucks. So that's very, very, very respectable. Uh, it is whoever can eat the most pierogies in 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a peek around while we're waiting for the contest, and then we'll eat some pierogies. Okay, Kenny, here's the ground rules. Applicants must pay a fee. So they pay the fee. Contestants will compete with each other. As many as po a, a pierogi as possible in any style, with water or any liquid, within the allotted time of 10 minutes. Contestants may not touch any of the pierogi until the starting signal has been given. Contestants must stop eating when the signal is given. Contestants may not put any additional pierogies in or any portion of a pierogi in their mouth after the ending signal. There will be a 15 second chew and swallow any pierogi in your mouth. If a contestant uh, loses it, let's say a nice word, or vomits, at any time they are disqualified. We have judges on hand to make sure these rules are applied to and tally the number of pierogies eaten. Winners are reduced to counting the number of the entire number of pierogies at this 10 minute period. So they know what's at, what's at stake for them. No pun. Huh? We're going to do a countdown. Ready? 10, 9, 8, eight 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Eat your pierogi! A uh, second has lapsed. <laughs> How about that for play by play? That three down over here already. Hey, hey, we're not gonna give away secrets up here. They ate a lot. Just worry about me. them. I'll talk about you. I know you will talk. We got nine. Oh my goodness. Please remember there are buckets behind you just in case you cannot make it to the woods. <laughs> now I tell you. We tried to get as many cars in your way as you, we, Bobby, right here, as we possibly could. And right here. We need more, the doggies. Right here. We need another dish down there. There and there. A lot of it up. So, keep your plates, another keep one. your plates. Are you still hungry after this? Another one here. Need sour cream. More here. Come on, guys. There they are. More here. Hurry up. Hurry up. We got more coming. More here. <laughs> Throw it there. Right there, John. John, you need one down here. Here, here. Here, here. Right there. Go, go. Put another one in front of him and him. Right there. More here. That's okay. it. Today. Tomorrow, we have the Sterling Heights Fire Department, another one over here, and the Hamtramck Fire Department going head to head. Down here, down here. Going head to head tomorrow for the Pinogi Eating Challenge. Hamtramck's won two times in a row. Those Hamtramck Fire Department people know how to eat Pinogi. Another one here. By the way, we would like to thank Shrodex for sponsoring this like they always do, Shrodex Market. And then Tramick, soon opening in Warren on Stuart Heights on Mound. Part of it's open. We need another plate down here. Right down here. Right down here. Right here. They need another plate right there. Two more plates right down there. Just, just get some, get, they need pierogi down there. Come on, bring them in, don't stop. Just keep pouring them up here. Throw in front of the, anything in front of the side of here. We're almost three minutes in. We're only three minutes in. 
Hey, you should see the faces up here.
How are we doing down here? Contest before hey, folks. Uh, Matt got second today. Second place. Got about to you. 60 pierogies, so definitely killed it. I'm gonna start heading out. Here. You're gonna head back to Canada, but Matt, pleasure is always, my friend. Definitely have a good trip. Be safe. Thanks so much, and until next time. kinds of food vendors here. Here's some more like traditional kind of festival carnival foods. They have a large variety of Polish foods, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you around some more, but it looks like a really happening spot. Definitely a lot of people here. And this is all a weekend event, so it goes on for like three days or so, maybe even more. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days. Uh, lots of music, fun stuff. So here's an amazing, unique item, peanut butter whiskey in a chocolate shell. So uh, let's try this. So as they say, win in Rome, or more specifically, win at the American Polish Festival. Wow. That's 
Wicked. Thanks very much. Once all the way from I was going to do a food challenge afterwards, but I'm not going to lie. I'm only starting to feel like a human again now. I felt really, really not great after the contest. I don't know if it was like the mix of 97 pierogies plus being in the sun for three or four hours. Or just the 97 pierogies or just whatever it was. But man, I did not feel good. Hung out around for a long time after the event. Uh, for the contest, it was a lot of fun, but man, I tell you what, it was, uh, I was not feeling good. So I was gonna try to do a food challenge afterwards, but I just, I decided not to. And I actually went to Gold Corral and just treated myself. Like, I didn't go hard. Uh, man, this light. Give me that, there you go. Uh, they wouldn't let me record in Golden Corral. I did try, but they wouldn't let me. But uh, yeah, so I actually went to Golden Corral. I just had some vegetables, uh, more specific, and then some fruits, which was a bit of pineapple, some strawberries. Did dip, I did dip some of them in chocolate, not gonna lie. And then just some protein, because I didn't have any real protein for the day. But that was about it. So yeah, I kind of treated myself to Golden Corral. And yeah, I think that's officially it now. I got my, uh, got my sweet tea. I always get a sweet tea. Or I try to every time I'm in the States. It's something you can't get in Canada and I like. I actually get the unsweetened and I add Splenda. But yeah, no, now that's officially it. I also went to Walmart though, I mean, but I don't think you really want to know about that. And Kroger, technically. I brought like, I don't know, 20 bucks worth of kind of groceries. Like, just some like cookies and soda pop and all that stuff. All right, but now that's officially it. I think you have all the details. So at that time, stay Happy, healthy, hungry. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome life. All the above. And I'm going to start paying attention to my driving. Let's go over kind of my objective criticisms of what I hope to do better next time, what I could do. I'm trying to find where the most light is. Maybe like right there. Um, I am driving, of course. Don't do what I do. So, you notice at the start, uh, I kind of, I went and grabbed another water bottle and then they started like doing the countdown. So I kind of like rushed and tried to throw in a flavor packet. Didn't even have time to shake that bottle up. Um, and then, because my hand was wet from the water on that bottle, my phone wouldn't open by fingerprint. So I actually was not able to turn on my music. Uh, so, you know, I had my, 10 minutes of music all planned out and I didn't even get a listen to it actually. Uh, I kind of just had to put it down and say screw it. So I kind of like, so I need to perfect that. That, that would have been a big, uh, sorry about the light, that would have been a big thing to help. So I didn't really have my music. Um, my flavored beverages, I did run out of flavored beverages so when I had to go back to water, that is like a, uh, it was a detriment, it definitely wasn't beneficial after kind of, you know, you get used to the your flavor fatigue from the progies, so then you go to the, the powerful flavors, the sweetness, which helps, and then going back to plain water definitely didn't help. After the contest ended, about like 10, 15 seconds after, I was able to get out a couple really, really big burps. And uh, those big burps, like after I got those out, I was like, oh my gosh, I could eat another 20. So that extra air really caused me to kind of slow down at the end, also again, the beverages. But uh, you know, also, if I could, I would love to also do better um, in the last few minutes where I did slow down quite a bit. 
would have been better if I could have kept my speed up. Yeah, the only other things I will add is I didn't realize how much time I actually spent basically like asking for pierogies. Like I knew I had to do it quite a bit, but I spent a significant amount of time trying to like round up pierogies. Whereas near the end, they like caught on and I had a surplus around me. Um, but for the first few minutes, for sure, it was like a struggle to get the pierogies. Uh, and then besides that, yeah, I mean, I just, I was really slowing down at the end, not happy about that. Um, definitely, like I said, part of it's because I had a big, like I had to burp like really bad, like a big air bubble in there. And um, yeah, okay. Just thought I'd add that in. I think that's about it. That was like the biggest, the biggest things that I re-noticed. And then again, just the whole liquid, 